Hey folks, this is Ryan with RBT and just want to go through um, the difference between the mica, which is a mineral board that is used in the Splinter Z's US behind me here, uh, as compared to what we did <clears throat> with the factory production units is it's a piece of precision molded high temperature ceramic and you can see it here this is a splinter Z heater splinter Z V unit to be specific and you can see it has the ceramic in there versus the mica and then you can also see down in there the white ceramic deck we talked about in the prior video but um, given the expertise in ceramics, and here is the 510 insulator again. And the stainless steel parts out of the RBD factory, we will be moving away from the wood and the glass, which has been problematic for us. And all new designs will be uh, using more of the ceramics and the uh, stainless steel. Uh, now that we've um, worked our way up to have volumes uh, in a partner to do production for us, uh, we find ourselves very lucky. But um, as you can see, the heater on this is a splinter Z and the splinter heater is smaller, but still very large if you were to stretch it out. It's very long in the origami um, folding allows it to be put into such a small package. But uh, I want to cover um, this high surface area technology and why it why it's called HSA technology. So your typical e-cigarette maybe <clears throat> your typical e-cigarette here <clears throat> here's your airflow going by and they usually have this little small coil and so the coil has to run red hot sometimes as much as 1200 Fahrenheit. And if your coil is running red hot, um, you have a few things. One is you're trying to get 1200 degree air mixed in a short distance down to say 400. And so you tend to have some hot spotting with that. And um, at those, you know, elevated red hot temperatures, you can have what's called ablation, um, which is a physical breakdown of the metals because of the excessive heats um, causing small pieces of it to liberate. So with the high surface area technology, um, we have so much surface area that the heater doesn't have to run red hot because it's big. And that's the, the surface area part. And so we can run down near 500 degrees Fahrenheit and then have more uniform air and not have to make this big jump from 1200 to 400. We just need to go from 500 down to 400. So it's a lot more controllable and that smaller, what they call pinch temperature does tend to lead, in my opinion, um, to better, better quality vapor and starts to approach the vapor quality of the home unit where you have um, what I call equilibrium vaporizers where they're allowed to have a basically unlimited amount of times to heat up and really soak uh, a, a, a large heat source with a small um, bit of power a lot in say in the log vapes um, and that that allows you to do this thing where you have a large uh, heat capacity so that you can run it at a uh, uh, lower temperature and as the air comes rushing by it it's it's more resilient it has more mass more capacity so it's harder to move it and so it has um, fewer transients so that's the dealio on the hsa technology 
Thanks for watching.